Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin, and we are doing another Whiskey Club meeting. Mm, yep. Sans the coats. We didn't wear the coats. It was July, so we were, it was hot. We didn't want to wear the coats. We were trying Still to be a little more... Still working on t-shirts and the logo. Exactly. Possibly, yeah, <laughs> some logos coming up and things like that. So yep. uh, this, well, technically you were kind of key to this one right yep this this was mine so the theme for our meeting was middle tennessee yeah everything the the juice we drank the drinker afterwards and and all of the food so this one we were fortunate so the meeting was in early july yeah uh george dickel released a eight-year bourbon on bourbon day right june, june 14th. 14th yeah yep so yeah it's an eight year uh so it, i mean everyone associates dickel with tennessee tennessee, tennessee whiskey yeah. But this was a bourbon, so they, um, their, their master distiller, uh, Nicole Austin. Okay. She, they had, uh, what I read, she sampled four thousand barrels. Can you imagine sampling. It's four, a horrible job. Four thousand different barrels. <laughs> but, In a day. <laughs> but yeah. No, but they had quite a few barrels that did not fit the characteristics of some of their Tennessee whiskeys. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> said, have the she's, like, I got, she's like, God, I got to find a use for them. If I guess if you're not going to source them. Um, right. So no, they decided to release this bourbon. And at the meeting, I think if I remember correctly, it was. I think this was the hit. This was the hit. If we were going to rank them, I want to say this was probably the tops. Um, mostly because I think people were almost like, Dickel. And then it's really, it's solid bourbon. Yep. It is very solid bourbon. So, so we know this is eight year, obviously, mm -hmm. age eight years. We know proof is 90. Mm -hmm. We know the mash bill, right? So we actually get that. They share that information. So that's uh, 84, 8, and 8. Mm -hmm. And the price point's not bad. 30. The MSRP 30, was 35. 33. I think I actually got it at the Costco liquor store for like 28. Nice. Yeah. So it's, but it's pretty readily available. I've seen it at other stores in town. Well, that, and I wonder, is that an in town thing? So is that going to be a Tennessee release or is that a uh, wider I release? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I would think they got a pretty far distribution. They there. do, but I, I don't know how many, I don't know how many bottles they're actually producing to get to this. So it might know. be a little bit more of a limited. Be interesting if to see if they keep going with it. I'm probably going to buy another one just in case they don't, because I thought it was pretty good. Well, the nose is just kind of a little sweet. Yeah. A little vanilla. A caramel, kind of a honey. Yeah. Ethanol is a little present. Yeah. It's not like crazy present. Ooh, the palate is really sweet. Yeah. That's a lot of candied sugar type notes. A lot of caramel. Yeah, caramel. Very, That's it, yeah. That it's and very, very thick caramel. Very, very thick caramel, like the uh, like the, the squishy chews, like cubes. Yeah. Whatever they're, I don't remember what they used to be called, but the, the ones that are in plastic and they're yep. a cube and they're all squishy. That's what that is. Kind of Solid. dries out, though. My mouth's kind of dry. Not, I mean, yeah, I guess. It doesn't linger very mm -hmm. long. It doesn't. No, it fade, the, I think it fades quickly. It fades though. out. Yeah. yeah. That's that's more, I, I'm not going to say dry because I don't get that big oak pool no. of a dry. It just kind of, it disappears pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Well, then maybe. it. The, the funny part is it does not have the funk. Have that funk. <laughs> so there's something to do with the way they do their uh, charcoal the filtration. Lincoln, the Lincoln County, that Lincoln County process that must add that funk. That's very odd that it's not, you would think there'd at least be some, some amount of that. I don't. I don't really get why it would disappear. Good for them. I mean, they found a. They found a use for four. Yeah. Four thousand. Yeah. If it, I, I'd. Well, they probably didn't use all four thousand, but I mean. What I was able to find out, she did go through about four thousand sampling four thousand. Right. To to come up with this. I'm just more interested. Like, what was it about them that didn't fit the profile? I don't know. It's a very odd thing to say. This doesn't fit this profile, so we're going to bottle it Well, but it again, this. we never get to sample what doesn't go through the charcoal. It's a good point. It's the same shape as the bottled and bond yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah. If it was that, that uh, weird bluish color, yep. right? 
There's a little bit of the peanut note that you sometimes get from Dickel, but it's really, really light, very different. I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the bottled and bond, I do enjoy the bottled and bond version of Dickel. This is prop, I mean, this is just as good. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I kind of like that. Most of the time, Dickel, they're, Whatever that funk is and the peanut note that you get, the dustiness. Even the, even the drinker we had that night, the handle of Dickel. Yeah. I don't know. I enjoyed it. And I'm not a huge Tennessee whiskey. I don't care for the old number seven. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Too much bananas for me. Yeah. Yeah. That and the weird, like, I don't know. Aftertaste. Yes. Whatever that aftertaste <laughs> is. Exactly. You do a little bigger pull, a little bit more warmth i'm not going to say heat like okay. it's a little warmer it heats up a little bit when you do a little bit bigger pull 90 proof it's that's that's a good that should be the baseline as far as i'm concerned mm -hmm. there should not be any 80 proof whiskeys there should be 90 and ups so <laughs> that's a liqueur in our book exactly <laughs> no overall i think this is a good bottle i'll definitely need to pick up another one yeah that'd be pretty interesting to hold on to just just because I don't know if they're going to keep going. This, and I enjoy the bottle of the bond, and I have just a little bit left, right. and I'll probably get another one of those too. I want to say, didn't they just do their third release of the bottle and bond? I think so. And I think they went back to the 13 year, if I recall correctly, but I could be wrong on that one. Okay, so we're going to switch off. So there's George Dickel. This one, this one's neat. Mm -hmm. It's got a great, interesting little story. Um, and, and it'll play into a running theme on, on our <laughs> show. Uh, so happenstance, this is the founder's edition bourbon mm -hmm. and the founder, uh, again, woman owned, right? Isn't that happenstance? This is woman owned. Woman owned, uh, and sourced from MGP. <laughs> so it is really, really local. And we have a connection. The guy that presented the bottle, right. his wife has done some work with them with them yep. right so yes so it's kind of an it's an interesting like their designs kind of a it's a very it's a different design kind of reminds me of cinema the, the yeah black, the blue the, the yeah, yeah the kind of look yeah. to it yeah. yeah it's just it's a very different design for a bourbon bottle there's a few of them like that but it's a little funny i like it it's different this one is extremely local to, yeah. to Nashville. Yeah. Uh, right now, it's currently only available here in liquor stores. Yeah, select so, liquor stores in Nashville, bars, bars and, and restaurants. A few restaurants, yep. And it's like, it's just here. Yep. So, uh, you won't be able to find this one unless you are here. And depending on where you go, you might not be able to find it here. Yeah, that's true too. So, yeah, they're 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 pretty new. Pretty yeah, new on the scene. very new. This one... Also 90 proof, at least four years. So we got half the years on compared to the Dickel. They don't provide the mash bill. They this. don't, no. I didn't see it on their website and it's not on the bottle either. But, but again, MGP, so it is, uh, it does say Indiana, right? Uh, happenstance, distilled, bottled. Distilled in Indiana. Yeah, bottled. there you go, bottled. In Nashville. Yep. All right. MSRP, if you can find it. <laughs> Smells a lot younger, too. Smells a little. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> bit of sharpness here. So this one's about 56 bucks. Mid-50s is what you're going to be looking at for this guy. Slightly different nose, too. Yeah. A um, little less vanilla. More brown sugar notes. Yeah. I'm... And the ethanol's not as there's present not, as not it was. There's not a lot on the nose at all. No, but that, I was going to say, but the <clears> ethanol <throat> was more present on the yeah. Dickel than it is on this guy. Yeah, there's a little sharpness in the middle of that. Yeah. But it's get, not that it's bad, but it's... I pick up like some citrus. There is some kind of a fruit note. Yeah, totally get that. Yes, and it's like great, in, and it it starts that way with it's some just sitting back there. sweetness, and then there's a sharpness, and then it goes back to a fruit Kind of like that, like a... Like a orange, like the little gummies, the little orange wedges. Oh, the wedges. wedges? Yeah. yeah. Now on the nose, I'm going to say I get a little more of an oak note there. Still get more brown sugar than any other particular like sweet note, but there's an oakiness in there. 
the citrus, uh, you hold on to it, then they're not only even like aerated, just kind of chew on it. Whew, man, the citrus is even more. And it's the bitter, so it's it's more like the, what is it? What's the, the, rind? the pulp? The middle? The rind? Is the that rind. it? I, I can never remember, like, like <laughs> the very outside has all the sweet oils, and then there's right. like the white, like, part that's well, all super bitter. the outside, so I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, what's that part? Membrane? I don't know. Okay. The membrane. <laughs> We're going to go with the membrane. It's like that. Kind of bitter, and there's an orange note there, but it's very, like, bitter. Not overly, like, pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not horrible. It's just an, a, a pretty strong note. This one, we should try the water. Okay. See I think if it just because it's touch. well, it's not as smooth as the no the dick no the, the 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 youth comes the, out the two youths. The nose is softer. It's softer, but I still get a pretty the oaky char note is kind of coming through. Oh, we're resetting. Yeah. Reset? Yeah, I get like that brown no, that's sugar funny. maple. Now I get a more sweet citrus. It's okay. not that super bitter, like rindy note. It's it's a bit, it's still there. It's still citrus, but it's mm -hmm. now there's a sweeter note to it. That improved the palate. The nose. Ooh, it's not even, it's not as harsh either. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Sweet. You lost the, the, yeah. the young Smooth. sharpness. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I like it much better now. Yeah, it's it's a little bit better with a couple drops of water. A two ounce pour in like a small cube probably be fine. Yeah, like a little, I think that'd be nice. Yeah. That's probably a good combo. Cool it off, open, you know, add a little water to yeah. it. Yeah. No, I like it with the water much better. Still not a whole lot on the nose. No, it's it's pretty light on the nose. Still heats right back up. Yeah. If you chew on it a little bit. I do find it interesting, though, the price points on some of this. What, your first <clears throat> bottle to market. Yeah, fifty-six dollars for a four-year whiskey. That's mm -hmm. ninety proof. Doesn't that doesn't math up to in my brain? No. Uh, I was reading an article. Ooh, what, what, I don't even remember where that was. I don't know if that was Whiskey Advocate or some other type whiskey thing. On average. If you sourced from MGP or wherever, mm -hmm. you should be think, looking for about $10 per year. So if it's four-year whiskey, 40 bucks is about the right ballpark. All right, so it's not proofed all the way down to 80, so maybe that makes sense okay. to go up to 45. Mid-50s, probably a little high. Just this, this is the only bottle they have. I didn't see anything else. Probably a little high then. All right. Now, now we go to more local. It just keeps getting more local. It's just local, local. All right. All right. So Leapers Fort. I always thought it was its own town, but apparently it's part of Franklin. Cool Springs is technically part of Franklin as well. So yeah, I guess. I don't know. I it's still kind of its own place. The people, the big stars that end up moving to Nashville, this is where they actually live. Uh, Alan I mean, Jackson sold his place, what, last year, the year before? For yeah, like they're down 15. there. The the Judds, I think, are down there. The uh, Tim and Faith were down there. Yeah, that's right. And oh, JT. Yes, Justin Timberlake, Timberlake and Jessica Biel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where they live. When they say Nashville, they don't actually live in Nashville. They live in Leapers Fork. Uh, really big, beautiful properties and like a small kind of throwback town. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the, the yep. gist there. So anyway, Leapers Fork. What do we know about Leapers Fork? Uh, it opened up in 2016 um, on the their tasting room and um, gift shop is in, I think, a, I think the cabin it's in is at least 200 years old. Ooh, uh, from right. what I was told... In the beginning, their juice was sourced, so I'm assuming it came from Indiana. But a lot of their stuff is in that four to five, and since it opened in 2016, now it should be theirs. So. Okay, so they started with bringing in stuff. Yep. And this is 
a hundred percent distilled and bottled in Leaper's Fork. So, yep. all right, cool. So, the gentleman in the whiskey club that <clears throat> presented this, Dan, he he knows some people down there. So when this bottle came out, I think they only released like two hundred. Okay. Initially, mm -hmm. this was one of them. It was actually donated to the club. So thank you, Leaper's Fork. Yes. Uh, it was. I want to say it was probably second. I love the cork. Yeah. That's like, that's legit, legit cork. Not any cap to it, just straight cork. I like that. That's nice. That's going to go in the collection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So there's still, I think, I would say they're still relatively new, especially now that it's their own juice. Okay. But this is bottled and bond. Right. All right. So we know some things about bottled and bond. We know it's at least four years. We know it's 100 proof. Same source. Same, same source, same, same season, season, same... Uh, we do have the mash bill on this right. one. Mash bill, yes. 70% corn, 15% rye, 15% malted barley. This one's a little pricey. It's uh, it's roughly 80 bucks. Okay. Yeah, that's a little that's a little heavy for a bottled and bond whiskey. That's a little heavy. Especially, oh, it is exactly four years, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, that's interesting. So they put it in the barrel at 110. Mm -hmm. So they're... You can put it in the barrel all the way up to 125. So mass producers tend to do more of that because then you can, you know, add water, proof it down, and well, they know, distill it at 137. Thing. Yeah, they just that's yeah, right. right. I did see that. Yep. So they distill much lower because I think you can distill up to 180. Mm -hmm. I think it'd still be called whiskey. After that, it's basically vodka. Everclear. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, so, so they're distilling it lower. They're barreling it lower. But their thought process is it actually imp it improves the flavor. Yeah. Well, you don't have to add as much water yeah. to dilute the flavor, yep. so it kind of makes sense. All right. I like this. They do have a couple other bottles. Um, this is the first one I've tasted that's actually their own their stuff. own stuff. Yeah. Oh, like a butterscotch nose. Yeah, there's something funny on there. There's a little chocolatey. And the proof is coming through a little bit. I'm getting a little yeah. little sharpness off of this. But there's some kind of like a chocolate bean. More like the bean of chocolate, not a cocoa like... cocoa bean? Yeah. So a slightly bitter mm -hmm. note to it. I took too small of a sip. But no, it's not too small of a sip. It's a, just it's a, it's a taster. It's a little taster. A little taster of a sip. It's light. It's sweet. Yeah. Very. Very sweet. Very sugary. And uh, whoa, what's that? There's a. There's a fruit note or something in the middle of that. No, I don't know what that is. That's a little funny. Baking spices at the end, some kind of spice. Yeah, yeah. There's like a kind of a nutmeg. I pick up like feel. a a berry, but I don't. I can't. There is a yeah. There's some fruit in there, and I don't know what that is. Hmm. I would like to try water with this one too. <clears throat> but the, no, the nose. Loses some of its yeah. presence after you take the sip. I get sip. more ethanol now. Just yeah, it just loses some of the notes. I bet the water softens that up. Probably, <clears throat> probably. All right, let's do. We'll, we'll do that. The other fun part, and I guess really what they're going for, and I guess we can call this artisanal, right? I mean, yeah. they're really focused on. They source their own. Their I think it's their all. barley is from, actually from the. The owner's farm or the, the distiller's the farm? Corn. The corn. The corn is from the distil the chief distiller's farm. His own farm. Yep. So we're talking local, local here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're probably, you know, we're definitely uh, uh, artisanal. I'm going to say based off the picture, they probably do it as a pot, pot still, still, not a column still, because yep. uh, that is a pot still. And they do a lot of nods. They got the stars. They got a lot of nods into... Uh, Tennessee here still get that cocoa uh, like yeah and I get I go back bean. to the I still get the I, I'm picking up like a toffee or like a butterscotch something along those lines it's like that and a chocolate with a 
like there's like nah, I don't know what it is. Like it's a like heat a bar. A chocolate kind bar. of. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like a chocolate with a little bit of a toffee. Toffee in there and and then throw in like a cocoa bean and <laughs> call it a day. It's softer. It's softer. I don't know it's if just, it made it better. No. There's still some weird note in the middle that I can't place. It is almost a fruit. It's definitely a sweetness. There is definitely the whole finish is just baking spice mm -hmm. and like all spice type notes. Not not exactly a cinnamon note, more just like a nutmeg, almost a clove. Yeah. But not like an aggressive clove. Mm -mm. For me, like that that sweetness berry though, it comes in on the aftertaste. Drink it. I just get spices right away. Okay. And then it gets sweet after that. I get almost the exact opposite. I get a, a sweet and then a berry and then the spice kind of comes to the finish and just that's what lingers for me. You're Susan on Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... No, this is one of those. I definitely want to go down and check it out because they do have a few. Yeah. I mean, if they're doing their own. The property looks cool. Distillation. The cabin's 200 years old. That's, I, I mean, mean, the history there yeah. in itself. We, yeah, we got to just start picking, like, a day trip here or there and not golfing. And start knocking off the Tennessee whiskey I mean, we've got, trail. we've got a lot really close to us. I still really want to, I want to go to uh, Uncle Nearest. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've. And they're they, getting ready to expand. They keep expanding. Yeah. I mean, they've got like four phases of expansions going on right now. That's one I want to I want to actually go and and sample and and see what what they're doing too. I think their bottles are good. Their bottles are very solid. And I can't wait. I know they're making a single barrel room. That's probably going to be really solid. Yeah. Whatever they're releasing as a single barrel is probably going to be pretty solid. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. Mm -mm. They're everything. I, I like the proof. I like the notes are interesting and complex. There's a lot of different notes. I like that. It's Price that, that, corn, that, that artisanal corn. I think is what's throwing us off. I'm not getting. It's not super artisanal for me. I'm not getting it's that not really like weird like grassy. Which is another one that's right. down there. It's not like. To I'm that not getting extreme. that grassy artisanal just weirdness. I'm not getting that. But. It is a little funny, and it's eighty bucks. Mm -hmm. That is not how I'd spend eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, and no, it's totally it be different. Awesome to go and talk to them, and if see you want to support a local distillery, mm -hmm. if you're in this area, I I totally get that. And I don't I don't know what their distribution is. I don't I don't know. I want to say it's probably just around here. They may be branched to Memphis. Yeah, they're probably a Tennessee-ish. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe they, they eke into Kentucky, but nah. And then, now we're going backwards for Wheeler's Road. Now we're real local. Now we're... Uh, Neighbors. Yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe two miles. I doubt it, but just let's call it two miles. So this is the Wheeler's Raid. Oh, we finally got to go over there. We did. We actually went really over to the time. tasting room and highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a great, it's a great space. No um, band that night, so we got to... Yeah, we got to just chit-chat with the bartender. We got to chit-chat with their sales manager. Mm -hmm. Had a really good time. Got to try some stuff that wasn't out yet. Yeah, got to try, sample a couple different whiskeys and things like that. But anyway... This is the O3. So this is their bourbon. We've done, all right, we did their original bourbon. Mm -hmm. We did their cash drink bourbon. Mm -hmm. We've done their original right. rye. This is a step, that was 04, the rye. This is a step backwards. So this is their bourbon finished in French, French oak. oak. It is a pretty solid proof. Uh, what's that, 105? 105. 105. Very solid proof. The age is... Four years, two months. What I don't know but is how it, long. But they say it, some could contain barrels that are aged for six years. Right. It is okay. four to six years. Yep. So there, there's there's a blending of, mm -hmm. of their barrels. 
Outside of that, we've done the history of... Whoa, Ooh. the cap came off. Burp. All right. We've done the history of why it's named Wheel of Raid. Name. We've done all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, we can... I'll link up there to... But they're up to... Is it 14 now? 14 was just released like two weeks ago, yep. three weeks ago. Uh, so yeah, they've got a which, lot. Which was the... Rye finished in a honey oh. barrel. Yeah. Didn't get a bottle of that, unfortunately. <laughs> no. Hopefully that comes back around. Yeah. I, I, I think... But that one wasn't that. put in stores. That no. Was, that was a, that distillery, was a distillery, distillery release, release only. Yep. And it was 30 bottles, I think. Yep. And this is... Okay. That's what I remember from this. I remember the oak comes through strong. That's what I remember from the meeting. I get ethanol and some sweet sweetness on the nose. I don't pick up a lot of the oak. Maybe on the taste, though. Yeah. That's oaky. Very oaky on the end. That's very oaky on the end. Not like a, a little bit dry, but not like crazy dry. It's more literally, it just... But it's sweet. There's a lot there. The beginning's very sweet, and then it's just like... Wood notes, like I, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know even know what to say that 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 is. I must get like a cherry, <clears throat> dark cherry. Yeah, I would aftertaste. Say. It was really the cross palate is sweet. Then yes. it goes. Then it just goes oaky. Okay. But then the aftertaste yep. really for me, kind of ventures towards that cherry or like a raspberry sweetness. I don't get raspberry. I could see a. Like, not a maraschino, like, in the juice cherry. No. Like, an actual, yeah. like, black cherry type mm -hmm. thing. I could see that. I could see that note being there. Um, they do not disclose where they distill. But they are distilled in Indiana. Take your pick. So, we'll just take a wild Ooh. guess. Uh, Lawrence Bird. Bird <laughs> MGP. Uh, yeah, that's pretty yeah. much where. They're... Thing is how they, you know, it's the barreling, it's the, the wood that they use, it's the aging process. That's really what they focus on. MGP is doing their distilling. Mm -hmm. There is a fruity note on the nose, too. Save that for the water. <laughs> I'm, I'm not there yet. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a bit of a fruit note, which is not something I got. I will say in the meeting, this was not impressive. It just, something about it didn't taste right when I tasted it at the meeting. Okay. I prefer, it, it's much better now. Mm hmm Like, it, this totally changes my, my ranking. Because this was probably not, it was definitely not in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, at 105, let's add a little water. A little touch of water. Amazing what like five drops of water can change in a whiskey. And officially, we should be waiting like probably a minute to five minutes to see like the full impact of what this water is. Ooh, that got really sweet. I'm getting more like a vanilla. Butterscotch? Vanilla, I, I, yeah. yeah, like a custard almond. Yeah, okay. I can see the vanilla. Creme brulee type yeah. note. Yeah, which goes with that oat, like a charring mm -hmm. type note. Not a huge change to the palate. No, it's a little softer. Yeah, the the sharp. There was a, a little bit of a sharp ethanol note when you first took a sip. That's muted that kinda, down. Yep. But the sweetness is still there. The oak yep. is still there. And then there's a fruit note. Yep. Did you figure out a berry? No, <laughs> don't have a berry. It's definitely it's it's a berry. Yeah, I don't know. No, again, it, it was fun to go over there. It's, it's a great spot. It's it's a, not very big. No, not a huge venue by any means. But they they've go, got a good thing going over there. They got a good following here. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and stuff that they're able to put more out. You definitely see it in the stores. The limited yep. releases once they hit, they're they're gone. gone. Like they yeah. dropped their honey, back in what July or August. That didn't last thirty minutes. July. Yeah. 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 Uh, they released it at 11 o'clock 
at 11.50, I was driving to the distillery and uh, look, decided, uh, let me just check Instagram really. Yeah, it was sold out already. Yep. So within 50 minutes, they had sold off everything, mm -hmm. which slightly a bummed, but that, the nose is better with the water. Mm -hmm. It's not... Yeah, the nose is better with the water. The oak's there, but there's a sweetness. There's a little bit of fruit. There's a custard-type note in there. I don't get a big change on the palate, though. No, the palate doesn't change much at all. I get a fruit. get a lot of oak. And, and my understanding, that's the difference between, like, American oak versus French, French oak. oak. It's more porous. Yep. So you get more wood notes. Makes sense. That's what I read, you know. I believe everything on the internet, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to rank yours? Yeah, I'm thinking we get, we got to rank, do some rankings. All right, we'll drop that back there. All right, so this was officially your meeting, right? It's <sighs> one of the posts. It's hard. It's hard. Mmm, that's hard. It is really hard. They're all really different. They're different. It's hard to say one's better. Just because it's Dickel and it's something totally different, I'm going to say that's number one. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not like a huge number one. It's more because it's not like traditional Dickel. Yeah. It's about the best I got in that. If we're ignoring price, let's ignore yeah, no price, price for it's now. A taste profile. I really do like that. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And then I'd probably go that route. That's probably the way I'd rank it. I could really easily switch those. That's probably my least favorite out of all of them. That one I can definitely say. And this is, like I said, it's kind of, it gets a win because it's <laughs> Dickel, but it's not Dickel in a weird way. How about you? What do you got? Oh, uh, definitely a one. Okay. Definitely four. They're in these two it are depends. In, in, interchangeable for me. Yeah. Um, it could go either way. It really, yeah. I, yeah, it really but could. I think it this depends. was kind of the consensus for the meeting. I think so. I think it, I will say there was a lot of people that poo pooed that guy in the meeting. Mm -hmm. I, there was something about there, I don't know. There but was again, this funny. one could be slightly better with a little bit more water. Maybe if you drink with a cube. Yeah. Because by the time we get through that, there's just, I mean, there's a little bit left. And if you go back, then it's up to you how you want to drink it. <clears throat> I don't think anybody drank it on a cube. I think it was just. I don't think it lasted long. I don't think, the, I don't remember any of them lasting like super long. That that was probably lasted These longest. Two, there was actually a pour of each left after the meeting. Really? And I enjoyed that was, that These, was empty and that was empty. These two were gone. Wow. These each had a pour left. Okay. And then the uh, the dickle the handle. Yeah. handle had I don't know six drinks left in. It. Everyone enjoyed the Again, theme. I could. The theme yeah. was great. The food that we paired with it yeah, was good. Yeah, food was very good. No problems. There. No Some problems Nashville with the hot food. Chicken. Yeah. Some wings from. Yeah. Martin's Lo local wings and some goo goo clusters. <laughs> That's right. I forgot <laughs> about that. That's right. Yeah, we we totally went with the uh, star theme. Yeah, so they got three stars on theirs. They got three stars on theirs. No star. No this star. A... Wow, Dickel. What are you doing? No stars? Anyway, overall, it was a really great meeting. Mm -hmm. um, fun theme, way to, you know, incorporate the food into the theme. And the fact that all of these, these are all easily visitable. Ooh. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm going to stretch with that. <laughs> Visitable from where we live. You can easily go to any of these in a day trip. With Hour, no problems. 15 minutes south of yeah, Nashville. Yeah, that's probably the farthest one, right? 45 minutes. 25 <laughs> to 30. No. From, from Nashville? I, work, I, work, oh, I Nashville. work down. All right. I, Nashville. Actually, I was thinking from like here. <laughs> no, no, no. No, from, from Nash, downtown Nashville. Yeah, so hour and 20, 45 25 to 30. Sure. Kind of the same thing, 25 to 30. 
If it's if this is Franklin. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Franklin, but it could also. It says Nashville. It just says Nashville. Okay. Well, so then zero. But, no. <laughs> but yeah, and then there's a like we said before. There's a handful of other ones in the area. Yeah, absolutely. There's a couple close to this guy. Yeah, the H. Clark. Jack and the, Daniels is close to them. Right, and I want to say Uncle Nearest is in yeah, the same Uncle ballpark. Yeah, Uncle is down there too. Um, so. Yeah, and if this is the Nashville, then yeah, then you've got then you got Greenbrier, you got Corsair. Yep, there's plenty. Yeah, there's there's so many places to visit. Yeah, we're still making our way through those. <sighs> yeah, there's plenty. There's there. a lot of whiskey out there to actually <laughs> review and and like line up for all mm-hmm. these things. Meet between meetings and and the show itself. It's it, there's a lot of whiskey. Just in. We're not complaining though. Oh, no. Did that sound like a complaint? I'm sorry. It was not a complaint. It was definitely a, wow, there's just a lot to go through. So we enjoy it. Yeah. That's the point. Overall, great meeting. Great meeting. Uh, Glad to be able to have meetings. That's been great. Yeah. Uh, We've got more to to come. Uh, We're a little behind. Like I said, this is a July meeting. We're releasing that in uh, September. We'll, We'll catch up. The August ones are right there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're right there. They're next. Yeah, they're just next. haven't haven't had a chance to film. That's all. Well, we hope you enjoyed our review of just a couple yeah. that are that are available here, at least local, 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 local. Um, if you did, obviously drop us drop us a note. Hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. One we definitely should do. Let us know. I mean, yeah, know. let us know. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Get notified every time we put out a new episode. Um, hopefully you're enjoying some really good local whiskey. We'd love to hear what your local whiskey is and, uh, we'll see if we can find it. Yeah. Go on the hunt. Take a road trip. Exactly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next episode. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.